In Texas Baptist, a sesquicentennial history, Leon Macbeth writes that with the arrival of Zacharias N. Morrell in Texas in 1835, the future of Texas Baptist was assured. Born in South Carolina, grew up in Tennessee, but Z. N. Morrell read reports on Texas in the Tennessee Baptist News Journal and was excited about the prospects for Baptist work here. He preached his first sermon in Texas on December 30, 1835, to about 40 fellow Tennesseans camped in East Texas. A few weeks later, after preaching a fiery sermon from Isaiah in the center of Nacogdoches, he headed back to Tennessee to get his family and bring them to Texas. In early April, as they drew near to Texas, they were warned that danger awaited them following Santa Ana's capture of the Alamo and murderous sweep through Texas. Morrell wrote later, Trusting God, we traveled on. Within days came the news that Sam Houston had defeated Santa Ana at San Jacinto. Macbeth tells us that Morrell traveled extensively, preaching, baptizing converts, forming churches. He sums up Morrell's contribution with these words. In almost 50 years in Texas, Morrell laid solid Baptist foundations. When churches were formed, he was there. He helped form the first association, the first state convention. Morrell valued schools and was a major factor in the formation and early promotion of Baylor University. However, Morrell was primarily a frontier missionary preacher who, while riding the missionary circuit in central Texas, often had to cross swollen rivers because there were no ferries or bridges. In tomorrow's Baptist Brief, we'll look at another Tennessean who moved to Texas and challenged Baptists of the 20th century to walk as Jesus walked.